1945, the world learned the power of nuclear bombs. This is due to the two launches made by the United States and the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. This action put an end to the Second World War. These bombs, whose potential was 15 kilotons in Hiroshima and 21 kilotons in Nagasaki, destroyed much of the territory of those regions. In addition, the great desolation and radiation they caused lasted for many years. In spite of all this damage, the atomic bombs dropped 73 years ago were much less powerful than they are today. If a modern nuclear bomb was dropped, the destruction and damage will be catastrophic. This is because most of them have a power level between 1,000 and 50,000 kilotons, a much higher level than Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But what harm will these artifacts do if they were thrown into the Earth's core? What consequence will this have for humanity or the ecosystem in general? To answer these questions, let us first see how the core of our planet is constituted. The core is the deepest layer of the Earth, and as its name suggests, it's basically at the center of the Earth. It has a radius of approximately 3,200 to 3,500 kilometers and a temperature of over 6,700 degrees Celsius. It is also divided into two separate layers, an external nucleus composed of liquid, which is approximately 2,770 kilometers long, and an internal nucleus of solid construction, whose radius is 1,220 kilometers. The outer core is composed of iron, mixed with nickel, and less of other lighter elements. While the internal is composed of 70% iron and 30% nickel, all this composition makes the core of the Earth have a fairly high temperature. Also, there is a very high pressure in this one, and it is believed to rotate a little faster than the rest of the planet. Now, what damage will an atomic bomb do if it exploded in the center of the Earth? The power of the current nuclear bombs would cause terrible damage if they were dropped on the Earth's surface. But, despite this power, they would not generate any effect if the explosion, even if it were the most powerful bomb, took place in the center of the Earth. How can that be possible? Before answering, it is important to remember that it is almost impossible to place an atomic bomb in the Earth's core. The main reason for this is that even with the most advanced technology, man has only been able to drill 1% of the Earth's crust. Moreover, the fact that the Earth's core is over 6,700 degrees Celsius makes it almost unlikely that a nuclear bomb will be placed there. Now, suppose we overcome these obstacles and manage to get to the center of the Earth to place a nuclear bomb there. However, the pressure from the central core would suppress the explosion, so this would not be as strong as on the surface of the Earth. This is possible because when a nuclear bomb explodes, it generates an explosion of heat that lasts only a few milliseconds. Afterwards, only a large amount of thermal energy remains in the environment, which is gradually dissipated. So, we have to consider that the core of the Earth has a fairly high pressure and temperature. That is why many agree that the heat produced by the nuclear bomb would be absorbed by the heat of the Earth's core. As a result, as it cannot release all its energy, the damage caused by the nuclear bomb would be zero. Proof of this reality is that many nuclear explosions have already taken place underground, and these have not had any major effects in the various regions of the planet. From this, it can be deduced that the damage would be even less if the explosion were to take place in the core of the Earth. Some experts even assume that the explosion would be imperceptible and would only be able to pierce one kilometer of the Earth's central core. It is important to note that experts agree that the explosion in the Earth's core would not cause further damage to the planet. However, there are some who believe that the effects, although not serious, could be felt on the surface. They even dare to claim that there would be movements of the tectonic plates and expulsions of lava coming directly from the center of the Earth. As this is not known with certainty, it would be best to not try and find out or take the risk of exploding a bomb in that place.